hey, throw a touchdown for this recipe. Yes, we're in football season, and you're going to want this next recipe at your tailgate party or your next football party. Super Bowl's coming up, so let's get at her. Hi, my name is Vicki Lynn, and you're here with Cooking Vegan with Vicki. We're making a buffalo chicken dip. And no, there's no chicken in this buffalo dip, but nobody's going to know. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is you're going to saunter down to Trader Joe's if you're here in the States, and you're going to get some jackfruit. And you want the jackfruit that's in brine. You don't want the um, ripened jackfruit. So fun fact, if you've ever wanted to know where they get the flavor from the juicy fruit gum, it is actually from ripened jackfruit. So if you've actually had ripened jackfruit, that's where they get the taste or the flavor from the juicy fruit gum. But when you get the one that's the young jackfruit, there's actually no flavor. But when you start playing with it, and so you do want to rinse it and then just drain it. When you start pulling it apart, it becomes like chicken, pork. It can become whatever you want. So actually, I do have a recipe for pulled pork sliders, and I'll insert the card here for you so you can go and look at that. That's actually another great recipe for tailgating or for your Super Bowl parties. Now, I am only going to make half a recipe here because, you know what, with COVID and everything going on, we're not having big parties. We shouldn't be having big parties. I don't want to condone big parties, so I don't want you to have a lot of these recipes hanging around. Um, it is a great recipe, but you don't want to be eating <laughs> buffalo chicken dip for a week. So we're just going to pull this apart. So I'm actually going to use half a can. And so what I would suggest for the other half is, um, again, just pull, pull it apart like I'm doing for the other half. Add your favorite vegan barbecue sauce to it and either put it on top of some nachos, which is really, really good, or put it on some toasted hamburger buns, sliders, whatever you want, and use it up like that. Um, there'll be some other recipes coming, so don't forget to stay tuned. And then, hey, if you're not subscribed, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give it a big thumbs up on, on there, and share it with your friends. Because we're here to show you that vegan food is delicious food. And this one is actually going to be... Um, not necessarily fat-free, but it is going to be gluten-free. Um, you can make this starch solution friendly. So you would actually make your own mayonnaise out of, um, I'm actually, sorry, you would make your own cream cheese using um, silken tofu, but I'm actually going to use just Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese. So I'm, again, you can do it both ways and I can show you both ways actually. But the vegan cream cheese from Trader Joe's is easy or whatever vegan cream cheese you can get. I'm just trying to make this kind of as simple as possible. Um, you can, again, make your own cream cheese, sour cream, or anything. Um, I will have another recipe. I'll link it above um, for your own um, mayonnaise using silken tofu, which is super easy. only takes a couple of ingredients. So there we go. So we're going to use that. We're going to put that aside for another recipe. And guess what the next ingredient is? Hot sauce, buffalo sauce. Use your favorite. This is just Crystal's hot sauce. Um, and again, make it to your liking. I'm going some, I'm using about half a can. I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup of the hot sauce. Again, you like it hotter, use it hotter. You want more, use more. We just want a flavor. The jackfruit has no flavor. We just want to add some yummy flavor to it. And I'm just going to make sure, you want to make sure it's all pulled apart. Okay. Perfect. So I am going to add just a little bit more. We want to make sure it's nice and moist and flavorful. There we go. And again, just play with it. There's no right or wrong here. I don't really even need, I will put a recipe down below, but you really don't need it again with my recipes. Just play with them, guys. Don't stress over them whatsoever. Let me just clean my hands a little bit. There we go. And to that, we're going to add about four ounces of cream cheese. And again, you could put silken tofu in here with a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. 
and we're just going to make this nice and creamy. Now, your oven does need to be preheated to about 350 degrees. Oh, this looks so good already. Now, what can you serve with this? I'm going to show you once I get this in the dish before it goes in the oven. And now I'm going to use these Colby Jack shreds. You could use cheddar cheese shreds. You could use mozzarella shreds. Um, you can use any kind of blocked vegan cheese that you can find and shred it yourself. Um, use whatever you have. If you don't have, if you can't find the shreds where you live, um, you can get the sliced ones and just kind of chop them up yourself because it's going to melt. So that's all you want is something that's meltable. And if you're having a hard time finding that, you can just add more vegan cream cheese. Still going to be delicious. We just kind of want it to be kind of gooey. So we're going to put this into our baking dish. There we go. We're just going to spread it out. Oh, that's perfect, actually. We're just going to spread it out. Move that aside so everybody can see. Super simple buffalo chicken dip. So we're going to put this in our oven. There we go, guys. Going to go in the oven, 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. We just want it to be brown and bubbly. And then when we pull it out, we'll show you again. You'll just top it with some chopped onions, some green scallions, whatever you have. And we'll be using tortillas. You could use some pita chips, some crackers, even vegetables if you want to do a little healthy <laughs> on your spread. I know no guys want to be healthy, but the girls are thinking that. Okay, in the oven it's going to go.